there is a big misconception about the residency status of Palestinians. This is my Israeli passport. I have an Israeli citizenship. We also call it a blue ID. More than nine and a half million people have Israeli citizenship. And about 20% of them are Arabs. And of course, those Arabs have equal rights. So the Palestinians live in the West Bank and in Gaza. The Palestinians don't have an Israeli ID. They don't have a blue ID. They are not citizens of Israel. Instead, they are under the Palestinian Authority rule. So the Palestinian Authority issues their IDs. They are called green IDs. You can't have both IDs. You can have an Israeli citizenship or a green ID. If you're a Palestinian that becomes an Israeli citizen and it's possible, you have to lose your green ID. The Palestinians, because they are not citizens of Israel, they can't enter freely to Israel. They must have a permit. For example, I traveled to India. I'm not an Indian citizen. So I had to get a visa to enter the country. So a lot of Palestinians can enter Israel with permits that the IDF issues. So most people get a work permit, which allows them to work in Israel. So in Israel, they get a much higher salary. In Gaza, you get something like 800 shekels a month. And in, in Israel, it's like 8,000. So on a daily basis, there are hundreds of thousands of uh, Palestinian workers who come to work in Israel. And there are also like other kinds of permits like uh, medical treatment, uh, Christian holidays, uh, Muslim holidays, a wedding. The IDF just runs a background check. And if you have like a criminal records or anything like that, you can't have a permit.